Airbnb is no more in New York City. Oh, I, but okay, go on. It's now going underground. That why? <laughs> so because of the ban on Airbnbs, now all these short-term rentals, these Airbnbs, are now going on to the black black market, so to speak. They're now going on to Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, and other places like Neighborhood App to post about these. That's really weird. I mean, I do remember hearing about um, the New York ban on Airbnbs. Mm -hmm. I think we talked about it briefly. Yeah. yeah, so originally the intent was that uh, in New York, there's a very few or there's a crisis where people aren't being able to find affordable places to rent. Mm -hmm. And people were, or I guess the city was thinking that it's because the uh, vast majority of these large tenants are saving their uh, rooms that could be rented to be Airbnbs because it could be more profitable per day to have an Airbnb. Yes, I do remember hearing about this. And um, they wanted people to get a license to operate like a hotel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So these now black market Airbnb, uh, Airbnbs are charging like roughly like $200 a night or more. Um, but you'd have to go on to like WhatsApp or Signal or Facebook groups to find these specific um, things. So also... A lot of the people are are advertising that they're Airbnb um, like super hosts, but then it doesn't matter anymore because <laughs> yeah, because they're not an Airbnb. Not an Airbnb. So I mean, it's kind of crazy. They're just trying to like operate Airbnb without being Airbnb. Yeah, the thing is that I personally wouldn't feel safe going on like Craigslist or That's like. True or trying to find uh, like an Airbnb or a place to stay on Craigslist, I feel like there's more security run within Airbnb. And mm. I think that... I mean, oh, more oh, security than zero. Yeah, more, more security than zero. And, you know, I personally... It, it gives me an extra sense of security going on a platform and booking it through a platform rather than me connecting with the person directly. At least there's a record of sorts within yeah. like Airbnb as opposed to this other one where it's like, well, it's they could between also, two people. Yeah. yeah, just between two people and there's no third party. I well, do think yeah. I am more likely to use Airbnb or a hotel at this point because like you said, there's like a record. Mm -hmm. And if something goes wrong or like um, the host is not like good, you have something to like, complain to. Yes, that's true. Like, and you could warn other people to not use this host. Like, yeah. People get reviewed on the website or like they can get banned. So like there's like a certain level of like trust given by like, oh, you know, there's a lot of people that reviewed it and they all reviewed it really well. So you have a certain level of trust versus this is like you post it and it's like, okay, you just don't know. Yes. And the thing is to like you mentioned, it's um, a lot of these places are going underground mm -hmm. because it's just not profitable to get a license to run like a hotel and to re rent out these Airbnbs. So this makes sense. But at the same time, I think that people are quickly going to figure out that these Airbnbs are not cheap. And then you could just go on Airbnb itself and get any, any, anyone there or just mm -hmm. go to a hotel. You can't go on Airbnb. That's oh, the whole thing. Oh, they blocked it completely? It's not that it's blocked. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Airbnb, you can still get Airbnbs in uh, New, New York, York, but it's not the same type of thing. The types of Airbnbs they have are anything over one month. You have to say you're over, right. It's yes, long term. You're right. And long term indicates longer than a month. Yes, you're right. I do remember that. So um, I'll get to the, the more interesting details after you consider hitting that subscribe button hitting that like button yes yeah, so we put out videos daily we have a library of over 200 videos covering a varying amount of topics and you know subscribing is free it doesn't cost you anything it only takes a, it only takes a second and does really help out the channel so consider subscribing yeah so the other thing is that it's working oh really yeah so the Government or the yeah, the government of New York City actually got it right because um, 
Last year, there are more Airbnbs listings than apartments for rent. Oh, wow. But now,、um, long term listings for more than 30 days are up 37%. Huh, that's interesting. Yeah, I guess it is really working. Yeah, so, and then, but then the overall total listings were only down by 4%. So, A lot of the、um, more legit or, or people who wanted to be above water doing it correctly are, you know, potentially following through and it's like, okay, well, I mean, we can't keep this as a short term thing for by the day or by the week.、Uh, now we're going to have to go to this long term thing. And, you know, now there's more supply of apartments available. Yeah, you know, my fear always with long term like Airbnbs、um, and the people operating it、mm. was the,、uh, the fact that I've seen videos of people who become squatters in Airbnbs. And、oh, the, yeah. so you're saying it should be us? No, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, not going to be a squatter <laughs> in any Airbnb. But yes, I have seen those. And that's one of like a legitimate fear that I've seen on the people who run this. But、mm. yes, I do think long term is probably for the best. I think having a short term Airbnb within New York, a high cost of living place, was、mm. just taking up、uh, affordable, more affordable housing away from people. And I think that's,、uh, I, I mean, in such a densely populate, populated city, City like New York,、mm-hmm. it's important to have as much housing as possible available for people. Yeah, because I mean, that's the whole supply and demand. And I think that now that there's more supply out, there's going to be more competition for these、um, apartments, meaning that、um, they might have to lower the price a little bit. Because、yeah. now that there's more supply, they can go somewhere else, and then maybe somewhere else is cheaper. Or everyone gets those and prices、mm-hmm. keep on going up for houses, even though interest rates are up. I don't think anybody's buying anything in New York City. That's true. Well, yeah, that's true. Maybe an investment firm or something sells it down the line、mm-hmm. or a YouTuber. But yeah, let us know down below would you trust a Facebook Marketplace, WhatsApp link, or anything else、um, for your Airbnb stay or, well, former Airbnb stay or. Um, would you just finally just get a hotel? Because I mean, hotels are not too far off, I think. For、um, I don't think they're、yeah. too far off from that. Yeah, if it's $200, I, I think you could find a hotel for easily that price,、mm-hmm. especially like in the off season. But yes, let us know in the comments down below、uh, your guys' thoughts.